Hi everybody, it is Christina from Pretty Distressed. I'm coming to you from my back patio because spring is coming, I promise. It's really cold here today in Tennessee, but I wanna get my patio ready because I know the weather's gonna be warm soon. So I'm gonna just clean this up, give it a refresh. I'm gonna do some quick furniture flips with one of my favorite DIY paints, Beyond Paint. So stick around because this makeover starts right now. Yesterday, I did some prep for this makeover. I took this outside and I power washed the whole thing, scrubbed it with some Dawn dish soap because it was really dirty. This has been outside for two years. We built it um, right before the big C started, you guys. So this needs, it's cracking, it needed some filling. So I did cleaning, I did wood filler, and now I'm gonna sand it before I paint it. I'm using a battery powered orbital sander and I'm gonna start with a 120 grit sandpaper to smooth out all this wood filler, which is safe for exterior. When you're using a wood filler outside, you wanna make sure that it is rated for exterior use. Once I get all this wood filler smoothed out, I'm gonna go back in with a 220 just to smooth everything out. Everything I'm doing here is just to repair the condition of the table. None of this is necessary to prep for my primer or paint that I'm using today. Once I got everything sanded, I'm just using a tack cloth to remove all that dust because there was a ton of dust from all that wood filler. If you've been around here for a while, you've definitely seen me use Beyond Paint before. It's an all-in-one, it has a primer, paint, and seals. It's really easy for just the average DIYer. It doesn't take a lot of skill to use this paint. Normally, I do not have to prime with this paint, but today for this table, I do, because it's knotty pine. And as you could see when I put the wood filler on, you could see brown seeping through those knots. They are gonna leak and have those tannins bleed through your paint. So you don't wanna do that. So for insurance, so that my paint looks really, really good, I'm gonna do a stain blocking primer that's specifically to block in wood tannins and seal these knots before I add my paint. I'm using a shellac base primer because I like the way they protect against bleed through of knots and they seal really well. Uh, I have my tray lined with foil because this is not cleanable with soap and water. You actually have to use ammonia to clean it up. So just keep that in mind if you're using a shellac base primer. Um, I have a three eighths inch nap on this one and it is a microfiber roll and it works really well for putting this specific type of primer on. This primer is really thin and the odors on are really strong as well so even though I am working outside I'm still wearing a vapor mask to protect my lungs. As always I'll link all the products that I'm using down in that description box if you're interested in purchasing anything. This primer is by Zinzer and it is called Bin and it dries really quickly so I'm going to be able to paint this just after 30 minutes. I use a cheap chip brush just to get in all the areas that my roller can't reach and then I usually toss these out when I'm done. While this dries, I'm gonna hop over and start working on a metal cart that I'm also gonna paint with the Beyond Paint. I made over this little cart I got a couple years ago with a little tropical vibe. I kinda want more of a serene spa like coastal vibe out here now. So I'm gonna get rid of these little leaves that I put on here. Um, this is metal, but I can paint directly on here. I don't have to prime or anything. Beyond Paint sticks to a lot of surfaces. So I'm gonna start by getting these leaves off and then cleaning it off really well with some simple green. This is permanent vinyl and I was surprised how easily it came off. I'm guessing because it's been outdoors for about two years, it flaked right off with the paint scraper. Thank you. 
when you're prepping your furniture to paint it with Beyond Paint, you wanna use an all-purpose degreaser. This is an instance where you don't wanna use TSP and you don't wanna use soaps when prepping because those don't work well with this paint. You just wanna make sure that your surface is clean, dry, grease and oil and wax free and the all-purpose cleaner like Simple Green is gonna do a great job with that. When you're painting furniture that is already sealed, this is all the cleaning that you need to do. I've done lots of Beyond Paint makeovers, so make sure that you check those out as well. And before I start painting, it's really important that I rinse all of this cleaner off with some clean, warm water. This is all clean and we're ready to go. I have used this on lots of furniture before and I love it because it's super easy just for an average DIYer, but you can also use it on outdoor furniture. So we're doing the table today and we're doing this little cart. What's great about it is I don't have to, I didn't have to scuff sand this. This is gonna stick right away because it has a bonder and a primer in it and a sealer all in one. So we're gonna get the first coat on. It's really easy. You just get one of their kits with a chip brush and a roller. The chip brush is gonna get in all these little tiny areas and then the rest of the surface, I'm gonna use a roller. So let's get to it. Beyond Paint is really thick and it, it is an all-in-one paint. So it's a bonder, primer, finisher, and it cures to a durable washable surface and you can use it indoors or outdoors. Super easy to put on. You just apply it with a roller and any of the parts that you can't hit with that roller, you just wanna use that chip brush and use a stippling motion to get in there. You don't wanna do that normal paintbrush movement that you do. You're just really bouncing and stippling it. So this will go on really textured and it will dry down and level out a lot, but it is a smooth textured finish, if that makes sense. It looks really smooth, but if you go up and touch it, it will have a little bit of texture to it. So just know that as you're painting. And yes, this is metal and it's going to stick on here. It'll also stick to wood, formica, laminate, plastic, glass, linoleum, masonry, tile, marble, concrete, and even previously painted surfaces. So this is a very versatile paint. While the cart is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the table. I moved the table up here because in true Tennessee fashion, we're not really sure if it's gonna rain or not. Um, I picked a beige color. This is called Pebble. The last color on the cart is Mocha. These are two colors that I've never used before and they're really pretty and neutral. I'm gonna go with my whole theme. This pebble color is stunning. It's like the perfect grayish. It's kind of beige and it's gray at the same time. It's a little bit of a chameleon and it looks perfect for a wood table like this. I'm applying this on the table the same way I did with the cart. This is the kit that they sell on their website. It's a three inch eight nap. And then you have the chip brush to do the stippling. Two coats are recommended on this paint and you wanna let two to four hours of drying time between coats. You wanna make sure that your surface is nice and dry before you go in with that second coat. One of the best features of this paint is that you can clean up with soap and water due to their nanotechnology. It sticks really well and is gonna cure down really hard and durable, but it has the ease of cleaning it up with soap and water, which I appreciate so much. My husband actually built this table back in March of 2020. This is before I became so proficient in power tools. I feel like I could build this today, but this is an Anna White build. And if you have never built furniture before, she is a great resource on how to build things. And this was a pretty affordable build for us. And I'm glad I'm painting it today and I'm able to give it a little bit more life.
while I let this first coat dry, I'm gonna hop over and do the second coat on the cart. You do wanna wait that full two to four hours. Wait for if you can. The drier it is, the better your second coat's gonna go on. I did end up doing a third coat on the cart just cause I was going from a white to a dark color. And I ended up having to pull the table into the garage because it did start raining and storming pretty bad. So I finished that second coat of the table up inside. Back for day two, it's cleaning day. I have the second coats on my pieces of furniture. They're looking awesome. So we just need to start cleaning this up and then we'll be able to restage everything. I'm just starting out by removing everything so I can clean this patio off. This rug I'm gonna be relocating to my daughter's patio. It's too small for this space, but it's the only size they had last season. So I have gotten a new rug. Some of my pillows are destroyed, so I got a couple new pillows. And I'm also gonna clean the sofa up a little bit. So I'm just getting everything off the patio so I can start pressure washing. Yuck, there are so many leaves and cobwebs and stuff. I decided to get out the blower and give me a little bit of a head start before I get the pressure washer off. This is a great trick. I, I think when I've done this before, I've used a vacuum. It's so much easier just to use a blower and blow everything off, <laughs> off of the patio. Um, and it's a little bit more, you know, eco-friendly as well because everything that's up here is biodegradable. So we're just pushing it out into the yard <laughs> so that it can decompose. And I will tell you, this is my first time using our pressure washer. I think we got this from Costco. Um, it was really easy to set up and use. So I kind of may be using this more often. I did use it to clean off the table at the beginning as well because it has a wood tip on it. But here to clean the patio, I'm using the ultra tip. So it's helping me get all the bird doo-doo <laughs> off of the uh, railing here as well as the patio. We didn't have all day to wait and uh, have this water dry, so I squeegeed it off a little bit just to help things dry faster. So I'm gonna use my little upholstery cleaner to clean up any little stains that I have on my couch. We've had this couch for a while and it holds up really well. I usually bring the cushions in over the winter and I just did not this year. Um, so they're a little dirty. I'm gonna clean up those spots. If you have kids, um, when they get the stomach flu, this thing has saved my life so many times. <laughs> so highly invest recommending in a small upholstery cleaner like this. It helps uh, your stuff look fresh and be clean. Okay, the last time I did a patio refresh video, we installed this fan and it has held up really well, but it is just looking pretty dusty and dirty. So I'm crawling up here with my simple green and just washing off all the blades and the globe to give it a fresh look. Cleaning is done. It looks so good up here. All the leaves are gone. All the dirt is gone. Now it's time for the fun part. I get to put everything back together and bring our freshly painted furniture up here. So let's get to it. Now, because I have saved so much money on making over my furniture pieces and not having to buy anything new, I am able to splurge on some decor items. So I got this rug and some pillows on sale at Target. They were having a, I think 20% off home sale. This rug is from the Studio McGee line, the Threshold Studio McGee line, which I really, really love. Um, and I also got the pillows from there as well. This rug is so much bigger and it is just gonna fit the space a lot better than the one I previously had here. 
Y'all might recognize Maggie from previous videos. She is my bestie and works with me at Pretty Distressed and she was here to lend a little bit of muscle today and help me get this face back together. And here are the pillows I got as a part of that home sale. I love the tranquil like blue and grayishes, just a really serene spa like like I was going for. And now it's time for the stars of the show, the furniture makeovers that we've done. And I brought some live plants from Home Depot that I'm gonna try to keep alive. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you posted. This palm has already gotten knocked over a couple of times. I definitely need a sturdier planter for that. Um, but I just got some little succulents that I can hopefully keep alive as the weather gets warmer. Um, I'm just setting these up right now for staging, but do know that you do need to let your furniture pieces that have been painted with Beyond Paint cure for about 30 days before you start using them really heavily. Now this is what I call a patio refresh. I cannot wait to sit out here tomorrow morning with my coffee. I can't believe what a difference Beyond Paint made on this table. It looks brand new. Before it was rustic, it looked like it had been left out into the sun to be damaged for a couple of years. Now it looks like a brand new table and I saved so much money by refinishing it. The same with the cart. I love the deep mocha color. It's just so sophisticated. I always get asked how much paint I use. So for the table, I still have about a quarter of a can left of that pint. And then for the cart, I only use like a fourth of that. So I still have a lot of that mocha color left to use on a project later down the road. Thanks for joining me today for this project. I hope it inspires you to get your spaces ready for spring. It's coming and I can't wait. I'll be back soon with another video and I will see you guys next time.